Latest scientific research suggests something incredible about being able to make wormholes for real. Sounds amazing to the ears, right? But wait, is it exactly like how it has been depicted in movies? Or there is something which people probably misunderstand a lot with regards to the working of wormholes. One University of Bristol physicist thinks that we can make wormholes work as soon as our quantum computers get a little more, well quantum, and he has a blueprint to back it up. In this video we will explain how this technology is suggested to bring the theoretical idea of wormholes into life. To understand how it works, stick with us till the end. The fundamental idea behind the working of wormholes is counterfactual communication. In short, counterfactual communication is based on the quantum Zeno effect and is defined as the transfer of a quantum state from one site to another without any quantum or classical particle being transmitted between them. Too short to understand, right? If you want to know more about this, we will surely make a video on counterfactual communication in detail. Now let's get back to the topic. Transferring information from one location to another without transmitting any particles or energy seems to run counter to everything we've learned in the history of physics. Yet there is some solid reasoning that this counterfactual communication might not only be plausible, but depending on how it works, could reveal fundamental aspects of reality that have so far been hidden from view. Counterfactual physics isn't a new thing in itself, describing a way of deducing activity by an absence of something. If your dog barks at strangers, and you hear silence when the front door opens, you've received information that says a familiar person has entered your house, in spite of the absence of sound. The question of a quantum version of this form of transfer has arisen, with physicists exploring the possibility of quantum information being carried without a particle being exchanged. The concept isn't merely theoretical. Ghost imaging uses a separated pair of entangled photons to deduce information about an object without it absorbing and transmitting either of the particles. One leading researcher in the field has proposed an experimental blueprint for testing the physics behind a kind of exchange-free communication, a method which is called counterportation. As you might expect given the nature of the physics involved, quantum computing plays a part. The proposal uses qubits, the probability-based versions of classical binary carriers of information to transfer information from one location to another without ever interacting prior research in this involves light being separated through complex arrays of splitters and detectors demonstrating a non-intuitive outcome of information arriving at a destination in spite of there being no particle to carry it while counterportation achieves the end goal of teleportation namely disembodied transport it remarkably does so without any detectable information carriers traveling across if counterportation is to be realized, an entirely new type of quantum computer has to be built, an exchange-free one. Where communicating parties exchange no particles, teleportation is a well-established means of transferring a quantum state from one place to another. Though the details are complex, it involves entangling several objects, and then separating them in arbitrary distance before gently measuring the entangled objects in one location in a very particular way. Only once the separated object is also measured against the findings, communicated via old-fashioned methods, is the act of teleportation realized. The end result isn't the transfer of a solid object, as such, but rather a very specific quantum state. Completing the measurements on the original object effectively destroys it, meaning that state has effectively jumped from one place to another. Counterportation is a quantum form of counterfactual communication that results in the transfer of quantum information, much like teleportation. The obvious question is how. This is where a particular kind of Einstein-Rosen, er, Bridger wormhole comes in. One hypothesized to represent the overlap or connection between entangled objects. This kind of local wormhole could act as the medium through which counterportation happens. While wormholes have been theorized about in terms of black holes, it's possible that they describe entangled phenomena on smaller scales too. 
If wormholes do indeed exist, their description could help fill in gaps in our knowledge on the fundamental nature of matter. The goal in the near future is to physically build such a wormhole in the lab, which can then be used as a testbed for rival physical theories, even ones of quantum gravity. The conclusion is, it's still theoretical, so don't get discouraged if actual wormholes don't work the way you might have seen in movies. For more videos subscribe to our channel and become part of our science community.